Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be telling you one of the most famous talents in the whole wide world, actually, which is called solving a Rubik's Cube. I don't know if many of you have solved this, so today I am going to be teaching you how to solve this uh, Rubik's Cube. So I'll be back when I'm done scrambling it. So yeah guys, I'm done scrambling the cube. I promise I didn't do any um, algorithm scrambled, you can say. And yeah, now I'm going to be showing you how to solve this Rubik's Cube. So let's go to the first step. So the first step, you want to have the yellow center. And you want to make a daisy. The daisy, I'll pop it on on the screen. You want to have uh, all of these white edges. Uh, you want all of these um, edges to be white. And the center should be yellow. That's um, technically how a daisy is. So that's why we call it the daisy. So let's find any pieces. Oh, here's already one. But we can't do this because it already kicked this one. So what we would do is take this, uh, take this, and move it to here, and then I can just put it up. And there you go. We already have two of them matched up. Now let's find another one. Oh, here is one. Uh, uh, okay, so. I obviously can't just push it away, so I have to bring it here and put it up. Now I have three of them matched up. Now, oh, here's already one, and let's just put this on this side, and this and this. And look, we already got a daisy. If So what you want to do for the daisy is just get all of these lined up. So let's move on to the next. For the next step, what you want to do is this whole daisy, you want to convert this daisy into a white cross. So you want all of these white edges to go on the bottom. But you don't want to just do this and this because there's an, another step. So over the white edge, you will see another color. So this is the orange color. So let's move it to the orange center. And remember, you want to move both of the layers to the orange center. So let's find it and see. Um, here's uh, the center. And let's move it twice. One, two. See, now we already have them matching. So you want to repeat this. So let's move on to this uh, edge. So let's, you see there's a green here. So let's move it to the green. Here's the green and let's turn it twice. Now let's find, oh, here's an edge. And it's red. It's already red, so let's just turn it twice. Now we have one more here, the blue. You want to just bring it to the blue and turn it twice. There you go. You already have the white cross form. And here's another tip. Always remove the corners. So you can, if you have a corner, just bring it down and just move it aside and bring it up. Same with this. Move it down, bring it aside, and up. And look, you already have the white cross form. So we'll move on to the next. For the next step, what you want to do is want, you want to put all of these corners uh, on the white so you can form um, the white uh, side. So let's find a corner over here and look, it's the, 
So you, what you want to do is find a corner and then look beside what the color is. If it's any, whatever color it is, you want to bring that color to its center. For mine, it's orange, so I'll bring it to the orange center. Now, if it's on the right, if you, mm, if it's on the right, follow this algorithm. So, D, D anti-clockwise, right anti-clockwise, D clockwise, so down clockwise, and then right clockwise. That means you already have one of them matched. And you're kind of forming to begin uh, making a T. So next up, let's find another one. Here, this is on the left hand side. And this is going to the green, so it's already at the green. So what you want to do is D clockwise, left clockwise, then D down anti-clockwise, and then left clockwise. And look, we already have two of them matched. So let's find another one right over here, and it's next to the blue. So it's D anti-clockwise, right anti-clockwise, and down clockwise, and then right clockwise. And look, we have one more left, left, and let's do that one. And now, if your um, piece is on the downside, you want to move it away from the layer that you want uh, it to come in. So let's move it away from the layer. We want to move it away. And then want to bring this layer down. And then you want to bring this layer back. But it won't, you have to make it further back. Not here, but further back. And then up. Now whatever side it is, um, for example, if it's on the right, it would be down anti-clockwise, right anti-clockwise, down clockwise, and then right clockwise. Or if it's on the left, um, you want to put it uh, down clockwise, then left clockwise, and then what you want to do is then down anti-clockwise, and then left, uh, left anti-clockwise. So... Yeah, let's move on to the next step. Next step, what are we going to do is, obviously you'll notice that you made little T's uh, to form uh, with your white side. So now what are we going to do? You want to get the second layer done. How are we going to do that? Well, first, if you, first of all, you want an edge, not a corner, an edge that fits in that doesn't have a yellow or a white. If it has white, then you did it wrong. If it has a yellow, that means it doesn't matter. I can tell you an algorithm. So the algorithm is up, right, uh, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, up, um, up, and then uh, front, uh, um, anti-clockwise, then up clockwise and then down anti-clockwise then down then uh, front clockwise then that should give you a matching piece a good piece so for here for example here i have an edge without a yellow so the edge uh, piece is a blue but what's underneath it is the we want to focus on for me it's orange so let's move it to the orange center right over here now you want to see where the blue will go will it go to the right or the left for me it's going to the right so it'll be up right up inverted right inverted up front invert front uh front inverted uh, up inverted and d uh, front clockwise and that means you've already solved one part of your sorry now if it goes and uh, now look I don't have a piece so if you don't have a piece then just do up right up inverted right inverted um, then it will be front uh, then it will be up, then front, then uh, up, and then front. 
Now look, it should give me a matching good piece. So right over here, and now it goes to the right again. So up, right, up, up inverted, right inverted, up, front inverted, up inverted, right, uh, front inverted, front clockwise. So that means I already solved it again. Now, if for some of you people, you might uh, have your edge piece going to the left. Now, if it goes to the left, hang on a second. Hang on one second, guys. So let me see if I have a piece here. Um, okay, so if it goes to the left, you wanna do, I'm just trying to use this for an example. So if it goes to the left, it goes um, up inverted, left inverted, uh, up, left, up, uh, in, up, front in, front clockwise, up inverted, front inverted. Now that means it will go to the left. Now, let's see, okay, here. So that's what you, uh, if it goes to the left or the right, you can rewind and let's go to the next step. Now you will obviously notice you saw the second layer. If you haven't, please rewind as usual. Now, there are three certain steps. Our objective is to solve the yellow cross. But there are three certain um, objectives. Well, there are three certain cases you can come in. Well, first case is when you have a nine o'clock V. And I'll show you the second case you can come in is with a horizontal line. The last case, you, last can come case in. you can come in is which when you have only the yellow center. Uh, please forget about these two. Um, but if you have only the yellow center, it will take just like three or four times to repeat this algorithm. But don't worry, you'll still get it. So now, if you're in a V shape, what you want to do is make it a nine o'clock direction. And if you're in the horizontal line, you don't want to keep it like this, but you want to keep it like this. And if you have only the yellow center, it doesn't matter what position you start in, but at least you do the algorithm correct. So, which, what's the algorithm? Front, right, and then up, right inverted, up inverted, and then uh, um, front inverted and then you'll see you might get a horizontal line or you might get the V shape for me I got the horizontal line so I have to do this one more time so front up 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 right um, up inverted front inverted and now you'll see that you have made a cross for our last and final step what we want to do is you will see either you have like these two matching and one that's different or you might have none matching um so what you want to do if you have none matching start in any position but if you have one matching then what you want to do for example mine is red so i want to bring it to the red side but if you do not want to bring it to the blue side you want to bring it to the red side Whatever your two corners are, that's which side you want to bring it to. And this side, what you want to do is you want to keep it at the back. You want to keep this at the back. And you can start in any position if yours ones don't match. But follow this algorithm. R, R prime, so R inverted, F, R inverted, back two times, R front, R inverted back two times and then R two times. Now, if you have the matching piece, as remember, keep it where the matching piece is. Now, you might find yourself in two positions. One position would be that all of them are matching and one position would be that you have one face salt. If you have one face salt, you want to keep that face salt at the back but if you're in the matching piece um, 
can do that algorithm or rewind. I'm doing it again. But no. Uh, after you've done this algorithm, um, if you still haven't had all of them matching, or uh, one side match and then all of the others do not match, then you just want to rewind to that algorithm I did. And keep on doing it until you get the matchings. Now, what you want to do, front, up, left, right. And then front two times, then left inverted, right, front, uh, up, and then front two times. And if your cube is installed, just do that algorithm one more time and you'll be done. You have finally solved your Rubik's Cube. And yeah, you should have your whole Rubik's Cube solved by then. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.